Computers understand only two digits, a zero and a one. This may seem like a funny choice to you, but consider that it was made for practical purposes. Early computers had devices called flip-flops, which you can think of like a light switch. They could store information as either on or off. The one or zero was stored as a voltage. The presence of a certain voltage meant that the switch was on. The absence meant it was off. The modern day transistor also behaves this way, and its invention allowed for us to greatly reduce the size of computers due to the way in which the transistor could be packed densely onto a piece of silicon. A system using only two digits is called binary. With binary, we can represent all of the same numbers that we can in decimal. It just requires more digits. The chart here shows the first 32 binary numbers. You might want to see if you notice any patterns in the way the numbers progress before we move on. To understand binary or base 2, let's break down decimal, base 10. Consider the number 1308. This has four decimal digits. We'll rewrite this number so that you can see base 10 in action. Notice we can rewrite this as 1 times 1,000, 3 times 100, 0 times 10, and 8 times 1. The sum of those four numbers equals 1,308. Now in turn, note that for each multiplication, the second number is a power of 10. Let's rewrite this one more time as 1 times 10 to the third, 3 times 10 squared, 0 times 10 to the first, and 8 times 10 to the zero. The binary system works the same way, but we use powers of 2 instead of powers of 10. We're not so used to thinking this way, so it takes more time for us to translate these numbers. When we rewrite the binary number 1101, we apply the same process as with our decimal number 1308. Here, we'll replace the powers of 10 with powers of 2. We'll look at this in our next lesson.